In this video, I will demonstrate how to change cell alignment. First, I'm going to go ahead and make my columns a little bit wider. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my rows a little bit taller. In Excel, if you want to change your alignment, you select your cell, you click the alignment style you'd like. So we have align left, center, and right align. I'm going to go ahead and choose center. I can do more than one cell at a time. I could click on the range that I would like to change, click center. I would like this to be left aligned, so I'm going to click the left align. Now one of the reasons that I made my cell a little bit taller is so that you could see how these buttons work up here. You have top align, middle align, bottom align. So right now you can see that the text is bottom aligned. I could select each row and then I can select middle align, which will put the text right in the middle of the cell. Top align positions the text at the top of the cell. I actually like middle align, so I'm going to select that. You'll also notice these two buttons here, decrease indent and increase indent. I can select a range, and if I select increase indent, it simply moves the text over just a few characters. If I click decrease indent, it takes it back over. If you want to center align your title above your table, you can select the range that you would like your text to be centered, and then you would select Merge and Center. This combines all of the cells and makes this one big cell. I cannot select multiple rows and then select a Merge and Center, because what it does is it gives you this message that says, Merging cells only keeps the upper left value and discards the other values. So if I were to click OK to that, you'll notice that it only keeps the beads by Brenda. Yes, it merged the three rows, but it only keeps the upper leftmost text. So I'm going to click Undo to that. Alternatively, if I want my title, subtitle, and date to be centered in this section, I can go to the Launcher and right here where it says text alignment horizontal, I'm going to choose center across selection and then OK. And you can see that these are all individual cells, but because I had selected the range, I was able to center within that range instead of merging. I've selected B5 so that I can demonstrate how this button works right here. The orientation button allows you to change the orientation of your text. Whether you want your text to appear diagonally or vertically, you can click on this button and you can see from the pictures how this would look. I'm going to choose angle counterclockwise and obviously I would have to change my row height. So I just double clicked right here on the row heading right on the border and it changed my row height, but I don't want to apply this format. So I'm going to go ahead and click undo and undo again. Wrap text is used if you have a longer entry that you want to keep within the same cell, but on the next line. So I'm going to come down here in cell B11 just to demonstrate that. I'm going to go ahead and click wrap text. If I were to type first quarter, you can see that it fits within the cell. If I change the column width of the cell, it no longer fits, but that data is still typed in to the cell. You can see it right here in the formula bar. What I can do is resize that row. So I'm going to come over here in the row heading and double click. And you can see that the text has been wrapped around. There's a keyboard command that you can use that will allow you to stay within the same cell, but wrap you around to the next line. So I'm going to go ahead and type first. And when I press Alt Enter, you can see that I'm still within the same cell and then I'm going to type quarter and automatically it wrapped it around for me. I'm going to go ahead and delete those items and I'm going to change this column width back to how it was before. And that's my basic overview on changing cell alignment. 